citizens of Earth, lend me your ears and listen to me very carefully. My name is Dr. Eggman, the world's greatest scientist, and soon to be the world's greatest ruler. Now witness the beginning of the greatest empire of all time. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Shore. I talk about how play games and today we're going to be playing Sonic Adventure 2. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and started up the game. We started the hero story and we ran into a few people but not much happened. In this episode, Eggman blew up half the moon, which is the most insane thing he had done yet at this point. Because before then, also booster upgrade a lot. If you hold A, it'll allow you to slowly uh, flutter. Not that's not the correct term, but you know that sort of thing. You'll hover. That's the word that I meant to say, and that'll allow you to go on by. But yeah, up to this point, crap! I for I missed that. Up to this point, the only things he had done was well, actually, come to think of it, before this point. He had done, he had mechanized like half a planet, or not half a planet, half of like an island, uh, and you know, trapped animals in robots, which is pretty bad, and then in Sonic uh, CD, he changed an, an entire planet uh, to Earth, uh, little planet. I cannot wait to play the uh, classic Sonic games, by the way, I would love to play those on the channel. And then in Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 and Knuckles, he built a knockoff Death Star that he called the Death Egg, uh, which is hilarious. But yeah, now he has blown up half the moon, which, you know, aside from, you know, scientifically speaking, why doesn't this, like, throw the tides out of, you know, whatever, I forget the exact scientific terminology, but I don't know, it's... It's Sonic the Hedgehog. Sometimes you you can kind of just forget about science for a second. Uh, because, you know, sometimes it's not necessarily about, you know, exactly what ma makes sense in the real world, but more so what makes a really cool story. Like, uh, for example, uh, in Zelda Majora's Mask, I know, made by completely different people, but, you know, if you think about that scientifically too, that would do something really similar. Uh, but the idea of the moon crashing into the Earth in that game is a really cool looming threat uh, that sort of just gives you determination to continue going on and try to solve problems and stuff like that. And that's what 
that does for this, and I gotta say it's pretty effective. Uh, it's pretty hilarious because, and I know it's, it's a Sonic Adventure 2 LP in the modern day, so I'd be pretty remiss if I didn't mention it. There is a very popular fan dub for Sonic Adventure 2, uh, made by the people over at Snapcube, and basically what they do is they just you know take the Sonic Adventure 2 cutscenes take out the actual voice acting from in those cutscenes and just dub over it with you know hilarious stuff and it's very funny and there was this one bit about Eggman and the moon in there uh, that is brought up every two seconds and then it eventually just became super annoying I'm pretty sure to a lot of people in the Sonic community but it was still, it's still a pretty funny video, so I'd suggest checking that out if you really enjoyed Sonic Adventure 2 or some other Sonic games, even. That was easy! Of the mines to be like this. This is gonna be tougher than I thought. Aquatic mines. This is probably going to be quite the annoying level, so I'm just sort of gonna go on autopilot and focus on commentating here. So for this stage, there is an upgrade in here that I'm probably gonna get lost trying to find, but I still want to try to find it because it'll make my life a lot easier when we go to later levels, it's completely optional. But again, I really want to get it. Come on. First Master Emerald pieces around here somewhere. When it comes to treasure hunting in this game, uh, I think I forgot to mention this last episode, but the Knuckle stages are a bit different because they... the little beeper down there at the bottom of the screen, I forget exactly what it's called, the thing that tells you that the Master Emerald is nearby, or the Master Emerald pieces rather, is that they... What does that hint mean, water level 2 height? Do I have to set it to that and come back down here, I guess? I don't know, I've never gotten a piece like that, but I guess I'll go ahead and do that and check it out. But the beeper for this game is uh, a bit w is worse than in the first game because in the first game it always told you, uh, you know, if you were nearby like the second Master Emerald piece, it would beep for that. Uh, but in this game, it makes you get them in order, so you it only beeps for the first emerald piece, and then the second emerald piece, and then the third emerald piece. So when we get to some bigger levels, it'll be super annoying because you can go through the entire level once and only find one emerald piece, and then have to go through it again, and then again, to get the other pieces. Room filled with skulls and go I'm here! But where is... Oh. Is it in you? There we go. Okay, I didn't realize it was inside an enemy. Anemone. Anemone. Uh, I pronounce things weirdly. Alright, I'm back. Sorry, I just had to go get some water. Because, what do you know, recording for over an hour is, you know, pretty taxing on your mouth. It makes your mouth super dry, so... Yeah, I probably should have gotten some water beforehand, but I am adult, so I forgot. Forget what I was talking about before. I know I talked about the uh, radar. That's what it's called. The I kept calling it the beeper, but the Master Emerald radar. Uh, completely different between games. I mean, it's pretty much the same. Uh, 
But yeah, there are mods to restore uh, pretty much the SA-1. Whoop. Drowning. That's why I want to find the uh, upgrade here. Because... Whoop. I got out of that somehow. Look at me. I'm doing pretty great. But yeah, there are mods to in, uh, re... What's, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like, reinstate, but I don't know if that's the correct word because it was never really there in the first place. I might restart here because the master emerald placement here just isn't going that great for me. If you do restart, by the way, during these levels, uh, the master emerald pieces relocate themselves. So if you're, if you're ever having trouble, then... You know, it might be good to go ahead and retry. I wouldn't say do that too often, because I do think that uh, restarting takes away a life. And if you get a game over, then you lose all of the emerald pieces you've collected. So then, you know, you have to kind of, kind of go through that again. But there's piece number two. Set it back to water level three, and then I'll go ahead and look at the monitor and see what that says. There are a lot of mods for this game to try to make it a bit better. Uh, dig at the bottom of the... what did that say? The slope. Okay. For some reason I thought it said shovel, and I was like, what shovel? <laughs> oh, I think. Here's the slope. There we go. Too bad. Sheesh. There always seems to be a lot of police around when you don't need them. Tails, any news yet? For some reason, I'm not getting a signal from the six remaining Chaos Emeralds. Maybe Eggman took the emeralds into outer space. Outer space? Knuckles! Hey guys, long time no see. I must have got lost in the mines. Looking for the master emerald pieces was tougher than I thought it would be. Where are we anyway? Hey, where are you going? Move aside, Knuckles! I managed to find the transcripts between Eggman and the President in the government computer. I'm following the President's limo right now! If we get into the limo, we can trace the call to find Eggman. Okay, let's meet up there! Hey! Wait for me, Tails! Stage 09, Route 101. So this is a car driving segment. Uh, there's a segment like this in the Dark Story, and this level, is lo as well as that level, are the only two levels in the game to not have a Big the Cat cameo. So, depending on who you are, that might make these levels better or worse. <laughs> Not like the cameos really do much for the actual game itself, it's just a fun little nod to those who noticed. And I realize I haven't really been pointing out the different Big the Cat cameos, so I'll have to do that in editing. Makes me do a bit more work for myself, but eh, I should be fine. I'm noticing that I'm having a lot easier of a time talking about uh, this game than I have some previous games, which is awesome. I'm having a lot of fun playing this game so far, and I can't wait to continue the series. This might actually be a shorter series than I expected, because we're around halfway through the hero story, and we're only on episode two, so yeah, that might be pretty cool. I don't think, for a second I was like, if I do like half a, well, let's do the math. If I do half, if I do half a story every episode, and I, 
That means I do a quarter of an episode, or a quarter of a story every episode. So that would mean that if I do the last story in one episode, then I would, there, this love this series would only be like nine episodes. I don't think that's going to be the case because there are definitely some uh, stages later in the game that are going to take me a lot longer than these early stages are. Uh, but still, this is going by pretty quick, and I think that's just a testament to how much I'm enjoying playing this game. It's a very fun game for those who haven't played it. If you enjoy Sonic, this will definitely probably be uh, enjoyable to you. In fact, I think I think Takeshi Izuka uh, might have said this is his favorite game. Now, he's not the most trustable guy when it comes to stuff. I'll just say, but you know what? I think that's in a, that's something that you can trust. If you don't trust him, then trust me when I say, yeah, this game's pretty good. Anyways, I believe this is the end of the level. Yep, there's the president's limousine up ahead. Uh, it's pretty weird when you stop and think about it, how a level in a Sonic game is chasing after the president's limousine. Also, that's a hilarious line of Tails saying, Yeah, I found the president! <laughs> anyway, that is first mission cleared. Uh, there are multiple missions when you go back during the post-game, but I won't be doing that. I'll just be covering the main story. Mr. President, reports show that since the incident three hours ago, the country is in turmoil. Our financial communities are impacted, and our satellite communications are down. An emergency meeting has been called. Mr. President, this is a national crisis. Spare me the details. Exactly just what is it that you want? Dr. Regnet? <laughs> well, let's just get down to business then, shall we, Mr. President? I won't bore you with all the details since I know you are a very busy man. Mr. President, my demands are quite simple. Surrender to the Eggman Empire and make no attempts to resist. Otherwise... Otherwise... Otherwise your country will cease to exist. You have 24 hours to give me your answer. No way! What the? <laughs> Sonic Man Empire. Yeah, right. What the heck's going on here? Don't oh, worry, no. Mr. President. What did you do? It's under control. Just leave it to us. Got it, Tails? I got it. He's transmitting from the space colony R. Okay, let's move it. Wait up, Sonic. Hey, you, wait! Mr. President, we're receiving an incoming signal from our agent. Inside that pyramid? I saw Eggman go inside the pyramid. And more importantly, I saw that Batgirl go inside with him as well. Well, you saw them too, right? Well, yeah! We should be able to get into outer space from there. I don't know what this space colony is all about, but I'll find and destroy that cannon, and then kick their Imperial butts. All right. I'll go and find the entrance. Stage 10, Hidden Base. So we're starting to get into, like I said, the second half of the hero story. And so these levels might take a bit more of my concentration. Uh, so st sorry if I struggle a bit more with commentary. It's been pretty easy to commentate so far uh, because I have like a thousand different conversation topics when it comes to Sonic games and stuff like that. Uh, so it's been pretty easy talking about stuff. But I might get more focused uh, in future levels out. Uh, so apologies if I start to stutter or if I lose my train of thought, like I just did there. Look, uh, but yeah, one thing that I, um, my brain thought of is there's a lot of debates in the Sonic 
series, and one that's sort of been resolved recently, is the Two Worlds Theory. Basically, the Two Worlds Theory is the idea that in the Sonic the Hedgehog canon, there are two separate planets, one for, you know, different, uh, where Sonic comes from, and... There's one where Sonic comes from, and there's one where all of the humans are from, so Station Square would take place on Earth, uh, whereas, you know, games like, uh, you know, the adventure games would take place on Earth, whereas the original Sonic games would take place on a planet called Mobius that, uh, originally came from the Sonic comics, or I think it might have even come from the... Uh, cartoons, or maybe even the Sonic the Hedgehog Bible, which I don't even have time right now to get into. Uh, but... Yeah. Uh, and, you know, there's a lot of... Because, for example, in this game, there's this cool thing where if, uh, once you unlock a level, if you ever want to replay that level again, there's this map that you can go to on, like, the main menu. And it shows you a map of where each of the levels takes place. And... Sort of... Not really spoilers, I guess. Uh, I won't say what it is. But there is a level that has appeared in one of the classic Sonic games that makes an appearance on that map, showing that, yes, the... Both Sonic levels and, uh, the... Both Sonic, the classic Sonic levels, and the human areas both coexist. And, but still, it's been a debate uh, because of stuff like, you know, the Sonic movie and uh, uh, Sonic X, and to an extent, the Sonic OVA, and to another extent, Sonic Colors, that they take place on two separate planets entirely. Uh, but I believe recently that was debunked, uh, which I like a lot more, that both of them coexist at the same time. Uh, anyways, that'll be the end for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and continue on and see if we can go into outer space, which I know sounds crazy, but eh, he's done it before, multiple times. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye